Natasha Wilkerson. Back in 2011, I left a career in aerospace engineering to pursue this dream to build a program that inspires students to pursue engineering and science careers through space exploration. It started in San Antonio, but now it's grown across the country. When COVID hit, we had to quickly take an in-person hands-on engineering program and translate it to something that supports students, whether at home or in the classroom through a virtual environment. We're excited to present this mission to the moon, but don't take it from me. Here's what teachers had to say about Space Club's mission to the moon. We've been having a ton of fun with it, that is for sure. And I've been super grateful for the lessons. I felt like it came at the best time and it's been a huge blessing um, just for me personally and our school since we have online learners and students in class, especially for middle school because they're so social media oriented. And this is like healthy social media. It's like what they should be doing and looking at what kids do from other schools has been neat for them. I don't have a lot of time this year with everything going on. So the fact that this is kind of plug and play where it's like I can facilitate it, but I don't have to create anything or like figure out how I'm gonna present this. That's like the one reason why we can do this. I feel like this is what my kids needed this year more than any other year was just something different that was, I don't know, hands-on and enjoyable and fun. It was very doable. The curriculum was really solid. Um, you know, the engineering design process was there. And the ones, I'm telling you, the ones they absolutely loved were with those LED lights. Oh my God. We're seeing kids get so excited in my life. They're like, well, I didn't learn anything. And I said, are you sure? Because, you know, you've been doing this for eight weeks. And then they started to list all the leadership and the team building and the communication and, and everything. And like, oh, wow. But that's not science. And I said, yes, it is. Career chats are, are great. Me and my co-teacher are like, can't wait, you know, we're sitting there, these are great, did you guys see that? They were so excited when their questions were chosen. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> you remember, a lot of my kids are um, homeless and or way under poverty level, so this is huge to them. It has been so much fun to watch them um, take their own learning and like, and see the videos, take it, and they they're just thinking outside the box. They want to help. They want to learn more. And it's, it's been so cool to watch all their stuff. Um, and everyone's so different, so it's even more exciting. I don't know. I'm getting all excited. Um, we're the Gravity Girls, and this is our presentation for the little rover to take a, a moon sample or a rock sample back to Earth. So, good job. Good job. You're doing so good, Matt It may have taken a little bit, but we got it. I mean, I when I sent out to the parents, when I sent out to the kids, it, the feedback that I got when we first started, which is like, are you kidding? This is so cool. Like, how'd you find it? I was like, I scoured over Facebook and I'm so excited to do it. Um, and it's just, it's been a huge deal for us at Waltham, like a huge deal. Hello, Space Club. This is the last week and this is my lunar base. So, uh, we tried to use as many recyclable materials as we could, but I'm going to show you what the lights off one more time. This is a really cool effect. So yeah, we tried to like, 